Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Manny Noarmez, alongside Quinn Body No More, here to bring you another exciting installment of Mannequin Headball, the fastest growing sport play with brooms not involving witches since curling. Oh, I like curling. Of course you do, Quinn. You're made in Canada. Quinn, why don't you take our new fans through a few of the rules? Well, first off, Mannequin Headball is played one on one, and each player is allowed one broom rustle height or smaller. Padding is optional, but highly important. Goals are scored by knocking the mannequin head in the opposing player's basket. What now? <laughs> but remember, only brooms can be used to hit the head. Hands, arms, legs, and even other heads are prohibited. And let's not forget a new controversial addition to the rule book. Oh, dude, dude, no farting. <laughs> farting is allowed. Quinn, how do you think this new rule will affect tonight's matchup? Oh yeah, Jeff had a three-bean burrito for lunch, so that's going to give him a distinct advantage. Agreed. We're just minutes away from the head-off, but first, an important message. Hello, I'm May Normus. And I'm Queen Vada No More. And we're here to talk to you about a serious problem plaguing a sport we all love. Mannequin head abuse. Look, it might be a couple of hours. Off to the bistro! This is how it begins, all right? Mannequin abuse hasn't reached these alarming levels since the crash test dummies had their own cartoon. You can help end mannequin head abuse by writing to your state senator and watching Rules of Engagement Monday nights on CBS. Together, Together we, we can, can make, make a, a difference. difference.